Okay, we are recording through the proper mic this time. <laughs> um, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am a plant collector, but I am also a avid Reddit user and reader. Um, I don't so much interact on it, but I do read a lot on there. Um, and there's some some reddits that are, or subreddits, sorry, that um, are particularly appealing to me. And there's been some pretty juicy threads um, that I've come across over time. Uh, some of them being houseplants. Shocker. Um, so I just figured I would take you through some of my favorite posts from the subreddit, Am I That? <laughs> um pretty good stuff on there sometimes it's serious sometimes it's just silly little things um sometimes it is absolutely mind-blowing how ignorant people are um but yeah i will read you the posts and then we will discuss and decide who is the asshole in that situation um so starting off we have um this is the first one i ever read and that's when i realized wow do people actually post about their plants like i do um and like there is a subreddit for houseplants if you didn't know um but on other subreddits it's a little bit more interesting to see your hobbies pop up because it's not you know solely dedicated to plants my hair is doing something weird and i don't like it okay i think that fixed the problem Anyway, back to this. The first one is called, Am I the asshole for screaming at and banning my sister-in-law and niece from my home after they destroyed my houseplants? Right off the bat, I'm going to say not the asshole because, well, sometimes you get surprised. Like, you'll read the title and it will be like, okay, you're not, you'll think they're the asshole or not the asshole and then you read the post and it's the complete opposite of what you thought. Um, reading this one, I automatically thought, yeah, they're the asshole. They destroyed your houseplants. Um, but it gets worse. It gets so much worse. So, so, so much. By the way, I have read some of these before, and then other ones I just clicked on and put it in a background tab, and I'm going to be reading for the first time. Um, but starting out... So years ago, I got really into houseplants and started to collect them. Over the years, I've had up to 70 whittled my collection down to about 35 just the ones I really love I feel like that's so relatable right now like so many people have like gone out and bought and amassed these giant collections and now they're starting to like um do trades or sell them off or whittle down their collection as she put it and kind of just hold on to the ones that really 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 mean a lot to you um I know I've definitely done it in the past where I've gotten rid of plants that I thought were like really really cool and I had a lot of interest in them and then later on it just wasn't doing it for me or I bought a plant to go with the fad and then I just really didn't like the plant and I realized I didn't like the plant so I gave it away or sold it or whatever but yeah totally relatable right now my niece Jenny 14 female has developed an interest in plants and will come over and we will talk about them and she helps with propagation and repotting I had to go out of town for two weeks to take care of some work stuff, so I asked sister-in-law and Jenny if they could plant sit for me. I told Jenny I would pay, but also give her a few cuttings as a trade-off. They agreed, and when they came over, I gave a tour and explained the care needed, and also showed off a few prized plants. Sister- Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Tootie. We, we do not need- a cameraman today. They agreed and when I came over I gave a tour and explained the care needed. I also showed off a few prized plants. Sister-in-law asked how much a few of them ran me and I did share. This didn't seem weird because the family knows and I've gotten some plants as gifts. I returned from my trip and was horrified. They watered and gave the right amount of light but they also decided to give a lot of my plants haircuts. Big ones. This is where I like start internally cringing and I'm like, <sighs> hopefully like they're not, you know, super rare plants and stuff. And they're like something that you could replace easily or get at a big box store to kind of, you know, soften the loss a little bit. Like it sucks obviously anyways. Like when people do this stuff, it's just like so ignorant and so inconsiderate. Like this is like, 
people collect house plants like they collect like pokemon cards or magic cards and stuff like that like the collect just because they're plants doesn't mean they're not just as important to people as you know an actual collector's i don't know card collection um you know plants are people's prized possessions seriously my prized cebu blue pothos mother plant was destroyed the climbing one too my Manjula pothos had been done the same. My golden that I trained up my stairwell, my string of pearls, hearts, and ruby necklace all destroyed. My silver striped philodendron. And then this is where I'm like, oh no, because silver striped philodendron, not easy to find. Um, a Cebu pothos, at least in Canada, not easy to find, or at least they weren't at the time of this post. And I'm like starting to like sweat here for her. Uh, the worst was that my pink princess philodendron had been reduced to two leaves, and my Albo Monstera is down to three. I don't even think they got nodes. These plants are expensive and prized. How infuriating! Because, like, when you- they obviously, like, it sounds like they didn't even know what they were doing when they were taking these cuttings, so they took the leaves without a node, so not only did you lose your plant, but you can't even get the cuttings back to, like- try and re-salvage your pot or you know start a new one because they just completely destroyed it like oh my god my heart i basically broke down and when they came to meet me to give back my keys i screamed and screamed at them that is a fair reaction imo <laughs> jenny started crying saying i said i would give her cutting so she thought it was okay I screamed at her to go home and get what she stole for me and bring it back because she knew I didn't mean she could destroy my plants. There was a little bit more colorful language in there, but we're not going, I, I yeah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Sister-in-law got in between us and said, what's done is done. Uh, the thing is, this sister-in-law, the mom, she's obviously like, covering for the kid right like that's one that's something that's so infuriating too like kids mess up right and i mean she's old enough that she should have known better and she absolutely did know better the fact that the mother is like trying to downplay what's just happened like this is legitimate thievery they essentially accessed her house while she was in home stole plants and did god only knows what with them like it's literally stealing you can't just oh oh my god and the fact that they waited until she was gone away for two weeks in order to do this it just shows that they knew it was wrong i said no way and you're returning everything jenny said mom already sold most of the mom are see it's the mom's fault the mom sold these plants she knew she had specifically asked jenny beforehand which is super suspicious um she had asked beforehand the price on some of them. So this was like a scheme from the very beginning. I lost it and just screamed and screamed at them until Jenny was crying and her mom got in my face and told me I was having a tantrum over plants. I told her to get that out of my house and don't ever come anywhere near me or my home again. I called my brother, who was my sister-in-law's husband, and he was shocked and said they told him I said it was all okay. He brought me the stuff she hadn't sold yet and apologized. I told him I never ever wanted either of them in the same room as me again. They're horrible, awful, irredeemable people and that I hope they both burn in hell where they belong. He told me he gets that I'm upset but that I'm taking it too far and that family means not holding grudges. I told him to leave and I cried for the rest of the day. I am posting because I need to know if my edict is over the top and if I'm overreacting. <sighs> So am I that asshole for telling them that, that they no longer are welcome in my home and not even wanting them in the same room? I'm gonna say no, absolutely not. The assholes in this situation is 100% Jenny and the, uh, mom. Oh my god, so conniving. Um, and the fact that they sold them to make a prop, like they profited off of someone else's collection, off of someone else's financial investment, because these these plants were not cheap at this time, okay? And they're, some of them still aren't today, and they're hard to get. So they've profited off of someone else's hard work, they've profited off of someone else's financial investment, they've profited off of someone else's comfort, their hobby, their... You know, like, the fact that she cried over this tells you how much these plants mean to, meant to her. And it's the same thing. People's, like, 
baseball baseball uh, card collections or hockey card collections, um, stuff like that. They go for like serious money. And if someone had broken into a house and stolen like a baseball card collection or something, um, that yeah, that wouldn't go over well at all. Um, okay, that was less disastrous than I was expecting. I don't think it's too much to say that they're no longer welcome. I wouldn't want them in my house after that either. They stole. They're thieves. They literally stole. Okay? It's a crime. They committed a crime. Good on, like, the brother for, like, bringing what they had left back. But it was way out of line to say that she was overreacting. I don't think you're overreacting. I, I would react the same way. I approve. Am I the asshole for being upset that my plant got ruined after I warned them not to put it there? Ugh, it hurts me already. I wonder what kind of plant it is. I have this monstera plant I've had for over two years now. I recently had kind of an upsetting breakup and that plant is the only one of almost 100 that survived the relationship and is moving with me to my new place. We were originally going to take my brother and he was going to hold the plant. It's small in the base but monsteras have really thick leaves that don't bend, they just snap. True. I asked my dad if he'd hold it and he said it would be fine in the back. I told him multiple times it wouldn't and I was really a lot more comfortable with someone actively holding it for the drive because it was over an hour and a half long. Listen, I totally get it. When I moved, uh, there were certain plants that I put into bins and nobody was allowed to touch them. Only I was. I, no one touched those bins. I had to be the one to move them. I had to be the one to put them in the car, take them out, take them inside, unpack them. There was just like, there's just certain plants that like, you it's not that you don't trust people or you don't think that they're well-meaning it's just you know how much those plants mean to you and you're going to do everything imaginable to protect them and um plants can be really fragile like stuff happens like they tip over they fall i i'm the same way when i move there's certain plants that it's just i am way more comfortable being held or not touched or you know i have a whole plan when i go and move my plants so Totally get it. I got shut down and was told it would be fine and I was worrying too much. I didn't have the space in my car and it also wasn't secure there or I would have taken it with me. Of course it got destroyed and there's barely any leaves left. Ah, oh, this hurts me. Um, I got really emotional and started crying. I was told it was just a plant and he thought it would be fine so I had to deal with it. It got broken in a way where it can't regrow at all. I told him that I said it wouldn't work and he didn't listen and I felt extremely disrespected and was told, what do you want me to shoot me? What do you want to shoot me to make yourself feel better? Oh man, this guy's not nice. This isn't a, this isn't a nice dad. Um, I never got an apology or even a true acknowledgement of what happened. I understand it's just a plant and I shouldn't get emotional, but it really meant a lot to me. My dad is extremely upset and is basically not talking to me besides to threaten to take my stuff and leave. Whoa, that escalated. That's the last sentence. Am I the asshole? Um, no, not the asshole, but your dad certainly is. Um, that last line alone kind of like is giving me like spy senses about some potential emotional abuse going on here but she's rightfully upset she lost something that she cared about deeply she's just gone through a traumatic uh event with a breakup and having to move and losing a bunch of her other plants it's obviously like an emotional time to begin with but then to lose the one plant that you still have and that you wanted to protect only to be told not to and that you were overreacting or over worrying and then obviously what you were worried about happens um i, I don't think is it an overreaction not really it doesn't really say how she reacted other than she got emotional and started crying i've cried over losing plants um again they're the plants mean a lot to people like they're like any other prized possession what do you want to shoot me and make you to make you feel better Oh, that's, that's mean. And then threatening to taking her belongings and leaving with them? Come on, do better. What does the comment say? You got steamrolled in the packing process, belittled and gaslit when you got upset, and now he's threatening to abandon you and drive off with all your stuff. I smell some emotional abuse. Finish moving and remember you just can't trust them. Maybe get a U-Haul and movers next time not the asshole. Am I the asshole for wanting to keep my sister's plant alive? I don't know, this seems like a nice thing to do. I would want people to keep my plants alive. 
maybe it's like one of those situations though where it's like a little bit too much love love to death kind of situation you know where you water your plants because you want them to be happy and not thirsty and then you kill it with root rot i 20 female have been amassing a collection of house plants for a while now my sister 23 female showed interest so i bought her some she got a few for herself later too. I recommend a local nurseries and have been helping her with most of her plant problems and questions so far. Half of the plants I got her are dead as she rarely has motivation to care for them. And as a college student on a very tight minimum wage budget, I've all but stopped bringing her plants when I'm home and give her some of my propagated cuttings when I can instead. I don't see a point in spending the few savings I have on someone who doesn't care for plants but likes to look and refuses to buy fakes. This upsets her. I live near campus during the school year and with parents over breaks and my sister has fully moved back in with my parents. You know what? I think that's totally fair. Um, I wouldn't want to spend money on something that they're not going to take care of. What's the point? You know what I mean? I'd rather save my money too, buy myself my own plants. Incident in question. I was at a store with my dad who offered to buy me a plant because he knew it was on my wish list and I never see it anywhere nearby. I thanked him profusely but it put it in the cart and we talked about where in my room it would look the nicest. I sent a picture to my sister because I knew she'd find it cool and we like to share pictures of pretty ones we see when we're out. She immediately called my dad, said she'd buy it off him and he accepted. I didn't argue as it was not my money to spend but said to him after the phone call ended that it's sad that there was only one. That is heartbreaking. Oh my god. There's like some preferential treatment going on here god oh that's so sad that's that hurts my heart all these hurt my heart and like to get all invested in getting this plant too and like all excited it's in your cart and you're talking about where in the room it's gonna go like you're already emotionally invested in this purchase and then we're gonna be like oh no no i'm gonna give them to the sister the sister who kills her plants and could not care less. Since then, she's essentially left it in the kitchen to die. After two and a half weeks, I told her she may want to bottle water it, so I was dry and it had fully shrunken from the pot. It was sad to see something I've wanted for so long be neglected. I feel that. I tried to sound casual as she has BPD and gets easily upset when given any sort of suggestions or constructive criticism. She told me that I was micromanaging. I said I genuinely didn't mean to, it simply has different care needs so I thought I'd be kind to let her know in case she wanted to try something new, but I was being out of line and sorry for it. She even apologized. Oh my gosh, she's trying to do this girl a favor. Um, and, oh. She told me I was actually being an asshole and should worry about myself since it was her plant. I said nothing more. Wow, rub it in your sister's face. Jesus. Today, my mom noticed that the plant's dead leaves and wet soil led to fungus, so those leaves needed to be tossed and the plant put in a spot to dry out a bit better. She told sister as much and then did so while thinning it out to pretty it up and chopping off a large percent of healthy foliage. However, she said I was the one that noticed which is a lie, and took it upon myself to clean it up, and now my sister and dad- What? Your mom did this, and now she's gonna blame you for it? What? This is crazy. I already expressed being sad about it in its previous state. I told her my mom lied, and now my mom's denying it, and is mad at me too. If sister didn't get mad about watering, I would have asked her if she wanted me to take care of the fungus and leaves, and do so if yes. I'm an asshole for wanting to help. Oh, this whole post is just a train wreck. This family just sounds like an asshole. Everyone in this family is an asshole except for her. Her dad's an asshole for offering to buy her a plant, letting her get all excited about it, and then letting it be bought by his other daughter? What? And the mom's an asshole for saying and throwing her under the bus and saying, that she was the one to cut off the foliage and clean up the fungus and all that when it was her who did it and sister's an asshole for taking that advantage of her parents obvious preferential treatment wow what did the comments say <clears throat> not the asshole she's being irresponsible and childish and it sounds like your parents enable this behavior i would 100 percent agree i will upvote that not the asshole but your dad sucks a lot for promising you a gift and selling it wtf you should have said something i get not saying something and she probably knows what her family is like and didn't want to start something um so i get 
I get it. You can't always say something in those situations, especially when it seems like there's some not so nice treatment of one daughter over the other. It honestly breaks my heart when I read stuff like this. It always brings me back to like this incident when I was a kid that I watched happen where mom went into the store and the store was giving out uh, ice cream and there was only two ice cream left so she gave the two ice cream to her two sons and the daughter was left without any and like she didn't even offer to like split it for her or buy her something else she just told her to basically deal with it and the little girl she was like four and she was just like bawling and crying because she wanted some her mom was just like being so so mean and her brothers were like eating their ice cream right beside her and she was just watching them and oh it was so sad it broke my heart and I always always think of that story whenever I hear about parents treating their kids differently. It's so heartbreaking. I hate it. So I'm gonna stop there. I have more that I'll do in future videos if you guys end up liking this one, but I don't want the video to get too long, so I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.